Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to episode 52 of my LSPDFR uh, series. This has been a complete and utter nightmare. Uh, today is Monday, and I have literally spent since probably 9 a.m. this morning until roughly 4.30 in the afternoon uh, reinstalling and trying to fix these mods. All it takes is uh, GTA 5 to update and then it breaks everything then you gotta wait for developers. It has been a complete and utter nightmare and I've been talking to people on Twitter saying that I might just end up canceling the series just because of the amount of crashing and stuff that I've been having with it. And it seems people uh, really you know, enjoy the series so I have literally spent the entire day. I haven't been feeling all that good either so it probably added to the frustration level of everything. But, uh, seems to be, as of right now, everything seems to be working. Uh, the only thing I don't have anymore is the Spotlight mod. Apparently the, uh, person who created it, um, apparently they don't support it and haven't updated it. So, uh, we haven't been able to add that. Um, I don't have the Spike Strips mod, stuff like, you know, little things like that. And the Vehicle Search mod, um, keeps crashing. So, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do with that as of right now but uh so if we do pull anybody over i will not be able to um search their vehicle i can search the people though which is strange i can search the pedestrian but i can't search the vehicle the the uh uh dispatch calling unit one lincoln 18 we have a traffic alert for a kidnapping a traffic alert for a kidnapping all right we're gonna go ahead and respond to that one Figured we'd take these trails up here. We got a bunch of people up here taking selfies, so. Let's go ahead and head back down this trail here and uh, see if we can't catch up with the possible kidnapping. All right, now that we are on the road here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, be able to, looks like they are actually just heading over this way too. All right, we're just gonna do those sirens real quick to try to get around this guy here. We're gonna put on the sirens to get through this intersection here. Oh, I need to pay attention to my mini or my my screen, not the mini map. All right, so by the looks of it, they are actually just on this uh, this road here, southbound, is it southbound or westbound Marlow Drive? Northbound Marlow Drive now. All right, looks like we are just now catching up to them here. Looks like they are making a left up here. Thank you for uh, pulling over for me. Appreciate that. So it looks like they actually just turned down this uh, section here, which is gonna Dispatch stop them and make them turn around. Lincoln 18, approach with caution. All right, which looks like it's this vehicle here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, initiate a traffic stop on them as soon as we can get the uh, a clear. You know what, we're just gonna do it right here. Go ahead and run the plate on it as well. All right, so he's stopping right up here. We're gonna go ahead and try and get him to pull Suspect over. That Four, works too. Six, Edward, Edward, King, five, two, a warrant issued. So we have a felony caution. warrant uh, for them as well. So we are going to um, see if we can't get a unit out here to back us up on this one. Assistance needed in uh, Vinewood Hills. Units respond code 2. Copy that, dispatch. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, draw our weapon here, because uh, this is a felony warrant stop, so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully our backup arrives here shortly for us. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and reach for the keys. Ah! They're running, they're running, and they ran over my arm. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they took off running when I tried reaching for the keys. It looks like they might have stopped right here. We have a suspect fleeing a crime scene, and Alright, he just got stuck in this gate here, so he's definitely, uh, this was a short-lived pursuit. 
Okay, get out of the vehicle. Get on the ground right now. On the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. Nice and slow. Alright, let's go ahead and make the arrest here. There we go. Alright, dispatch. We got one in custody. We've got a Barry Worm. <laughs> Very interesting Attention. name. This is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, so let's go ahead and check out uh, a very worm. See if anything comes back on him. It should come back. License suspended. It's showing no active warrants, even though it was showing uh, on the computer database that he was uh, had a warrant for his arrest. So we can go ahead and search him, but we can't search the vehicle right now, unfortunately, with that mod being broken. Uh, he's coming back with nothing of interest, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in the back of the uh, the car here. All right, Mr. Worm, go ahead and get him back for me. Just get in the goddamn car. All right. Now that he's in, we'll call a, a prisoner transport to come pick him up. Required for a suspect placed under arrest in Vinewood Hills. Adam Six, copy. And we'll unfortunately, like I said, we can't here. search this, so the best thing we're going to be able to do is call a tow truck for it. Lincoln 12. We have a vehicle in Vinewood Hills. Respond code 3. Sure. All right, so uh, prisoner transport's here. Tow truck is en route, actually right there to pick that vehicle up. We just picked up another call for a high-speed pursuit, so we're going to go ahead and code 3 to this one here as well. See if we can't uh, catch up to it. Oh my goodness. Wow, where are they? Oh, they're like way up there. I can take this trail just off to the left right here, though, and uh, cut my, uh, my route in half. I don't know how good this is going to be with a car, but we're going to cut the sirens and we're going to take this trail and see if we can't catch up to them. Oh god. Just don't flip the car, and we are good. Don't flip the car. Watch out for the wildlife. Watch out for the park bench. There we go. Okay, we're coming up to an intersection here. We're going to go ahead and light some sirens through it. All right, so he is really hauling down this road here. He is really moving. So we're going to see if we can... Uh, catch up to him the best of our ability here. Okay, this guy just stopped in the middle of the road instead of pulling over for me. Yeah, this guy is really cruising. Oh! And my stupid keyboard thing. I think I might have just killed that guy. Um, we'll get an EMS unit back there to help him out. My keyboard does that weird thing where it, if I hit the left or the right turn key too many times, it like auto makes him turn that way. It's stupid. Watch out. That actually might be the vehicle just up ahead here. Yep, that's them right there. Alright, this is him here. So I'm trying to give him some verbal commands, and he's uh, not listening, so there's the EMS unit there. <laughs> Hopefully they were able to help the person that I just did a head-on crash into. And the ambulance actually just blocked him in, so that's perfect. We're no! Wow. Alright, um, another thing that I don't have installed yet is the Safer Chases mod, which prevents local officers of smashing into people which is what I'm trying to avoid is calling them in because they'll just take me out and them so maybe what we'll do is we're gonna uh, attempt to pit maneuver up here when we've got some clearance you know what let's go ahead and call in a, a local in a state they're gonna crash into me and crash into him but I don't want to keep... This guy just keeps kind of circling here. Alright, so if he can get past this car here, I'm going to initiate a pit maneuver right up here. Actually, you know what? I'll just block him off right there. And he just ran into my cruiser. Block him, block him, block him, block him. Block him. No! Block him. That's it. He's done for now. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle right now. 
Get on the ground. Get on the freaking gr Dude, I'm telling you. You've got about three guns aiming at you right now. Now is not the time to try and resist arrest. Alright, we'll move in for the arrest here. Alright, we are code four. We've got a Hector Martinez here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves not available for calls here. Alright, Mr. Martinez, come on over here for me. And the cop car just pushes his right out of the way. All right, Mr. Martinez, I'm going to pat you down real quick. Make sure you don't have anything on you that's going to harm me or somebody else. Come on, I gotta move. Found nothing of interest, so... Oh, my hey, goodness. Son of a bitch. All right, so uh, we're going to have to try and come around over here. Oh, good. He actually just came right inside of my car here, so perfect. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get a prisoner transport to come pick up pick up Mr. Martinez, and then we're going to get his vehicle towed out of here, since I can't search it right now. Alright, so tow truck is in route, prisoner transport is officially here to uh, go ahead and pick up Mr. Martinez. Wasn't a very high speed pursuit, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Alright, make ourselves uh, available for calls here. Yep, we are available for calls. All right. So Hector Martinez has been picked up, so we are uh, good to proceed with our calls. Calling unit one, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert in Vinewood Hills for narcotics in transit. So we're gonna go ahead and put not available to take that one. Uh, that one was way on the other side of the countryside that we wouldn't be able to make it in time. So another thing that I do not have anymore is like my old radar mod. Now I have um, a different, I think it's a, uh, well it's not exactly working here, not unless it's, yeah. I gotta figure out the radar mod, but I don't have a radar mod anymore. The radar camera is not working as well, so unfortunately I can't do radar right now. Um, I thought it was one of these keys over here, but it's not working. So we'll go ahead and uh, cruise some of these, uh, some of these pathways here since we are you know the county sheriff so it is our job to patrol some of these trails make sure everybody's being safe and there's no le legal activity going on back here watch out guys little rabbits in the road uh, that's another thing too I've got um, another mod that allows us to actually call in uh, like vets and that such I believe it is let's see yep right here so we can check people for hunting licenses, fishing licenses, we can call in air ambulances, and uh, a vet in case there's ever an animal involved uh, in any of our <laughs> high-speed pursuits or, you know, maybe ever hurt, any of the sort. So yeah, the uh, trail seems to be okay. Alright, this person here seems to be on their uh, mobile phone and they're swerving all over the road here so we're gonna go ahead and run a plate check on this vehicle here looks like it's a black oh there goes my vehicle doing that turn thing again a black grassley yeah they are all over the road we're gonna go ahead and uh, initiate a traffic stop here so let's go ahead and have you pull all the way to the right side of the road please in the dirt for me perfect right there's just fine all right, so basically what we're doing here is the reason we initiated this traffic stop is I noticed that they were on their cell phone and you can see how they were swerving all over the place, which is very dangerous to be on your cell phone. As you guys can see, they were all over the road here. So um, let's see, what did the plate come back as? Uh, registered owner, a Manuel Barrasco. All right. How's it going today, sir? Mike with the uh, Sheriff's Department. The reason I pulled you over today is because I noticed that you were talking on your cell phone and uh, you were swerving all over the road, so uh, you, it's against the law to be on your cell phone and drive. You can have the uh, Bluetooth earpiece, but you can't physically be on the cell phone, so uh, can I see some ID, please? Registration, proof of insurance. All right, Mr. Brosco, sit tight for me. I'll be right back. So we're going to go ahead and come back here and we're going to run his information and see if anything comes back on him here. We have a manual, Manuel uh, Barrasco. <clears throat> my goodness, I'm losing my voice. Must have typed in his name wrong. All 
Let's see if that if I got it right that time. Nope, still typing his name wrong. All right, let's see what it's coming up as here. A uh, Barasco, Barasso. I keep adding a C in there. Okay, that's what my problem is. I think that's still wrong. Wow, I am like typing in everything. This is what happens when you try to record. So it's two R's, B-R-A-R-R-O-S-O. -R All right. Okay, so now that took me about 10 tries to try and pull up his records. He's got a uh, license as valid of no active warrant, so he's good to go. So we're just gonna write him a citation. Oh, okay. And wow. Bay Tree Canyon. All right, so uh, after all that, he decides to flee on me, and all I was gonna do was just write him a citation for uh, being on a cell phone. Oh boy. All right, so dispatch, go ahead and show us in pursuit of that uh, that black vehicle. We're heading northbound on Bay Tree Canyon uh, Road. Whoa! See, that's exactly why, right there why I haven't called in any units because look at how aggressive they are without that safer chasing that safer chases mod that really calms them down and prevents them from trying to smash in everything and pit maneuver everybody and they always have to be the lead uh, cop as well if you notice this they always have to be like right there if you try to get in their way they'll pit maneuver you out of the way see look at that these guys are crazy crazy I tell you all right so all right perfect so he stopped there. We're gonna try and initiate a, a pit maneuver up here once there's nobody else on the road. Oh! Prime example. I really gotta get that mod put in there. Because they wouldn't have tried to pit maneuver me right there because of that. So I was gonna try and initiate a stop there until that uh, other sheriff's officer knocked me out of the way. Alright, so we got a slow tractor coming up. This might be a... Nope, they just zipped right past him. Oh, and that officer just pit maneuvered him into the weeds. And there's a mountain lion in the way, too. So we're definitely not getting out of the vehicle. Where's he going? Oh, okay. So dispatch, uh, we're on. We're near Bantry Canyon Road. We're heading eastbound on the frontage road. He just took a dirt path. Uh, high rates of speed. Still eastbound Baytree Canyon Road. All right. Looks like he's slowing down here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's come. He's trying to turn around. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so we've got no uh, no people over here, so we're gonna go ahead and try and pit maneuver him if I can. He is really going high rates of speed on this dirt road here, and uh, just missed him. All right, we are eastbound on Sonora Road right now. He's just crossing over the highway. Nope, he is now heading southbound Sonora Road, and I'm gonna get crashed if I watch out for that guy. Looks like the other sheriff uh, unit is trying to pit maneuver as well, but just being way more careless and aggressive with it. Still heading southbound on Sonora Road right now. Definitely uh, hitting some high rates of speed here. All right, we're starting to slow down a little bit here as he's trying to maneuver through some traffic. That sheriff unit just dislodged the trunk on that vehicle there. The trunk is now flying open. All right. So this is a good spot. I'm going to try and initiate a pit maneuver. Ooh. Vehicle's a little too strong for my cruiser to try and initiate a, tra uh, a pit maneuver. And I also didn't want to flip their vehicle either. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try and get in front of them and slow them down a little bit. And she's just maneuvering my vehicle out of the way. All right, so what we're going to do is he just uh, dislodged her bumper there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and grab ourselves a uh, roadblock here. We're going to try and do a stinger roadblock to try and get her uh, tires popped. Oh, and she's cutting through the grass. Okay, she's coming to a stop here. I think this might be it. Yeah, this might be it here. Nope, she's still going. She's going on the other side of traffic. Oh, my goodness. She went around... The spike, she went around the spike trap. Okay, so this person is definitely uh, not their first rodeo. Got another bumper dislodged in the road back here. 
This is getting crazy. She's heading into the city now. We're heading on South Elgin Avenue right now. She is just crashing into all sorts of people here. Looks like her left front tire is in fact blown out, so she might have just clipped the spike strip. We need to get ourselves some uh, local units in here to help us out. It's just me and this one sheriff unit. We gotta get this shut down before she crashes into any more people. All right, block her in, guys. Block her in. Block her in. Oh, my goodness. Block her. Block her in. Right here. This should be it right here. I'm getting out. I'm going for the uh, going for the arrest. No! No! Nope. All right, I took out her back tire just in case she tries it. Whoa! Get out of the vehicle. Get out. Oh, it's a guy, by the way. Get out. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I kept saying her when it was the uh, Manuel guy. You can't hide. Who's covering me? All right. Going in for the arrest. All right, dispatch. We've got a uh, one in custody, Manuel Barrasso. Not exact. There goes the street light. So uh, come on back here, Manuel. Or Manuel, whatever your name is. I'm going to go ahead and pat you down and make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. I'm not exactly sure why you took off on me today. Found some shaved keys. So uh, that's awfully suspicious. So come on over here for me. We're going to go ahead and uh, get a prisoner transport to... My car is all sorts of trashed right now. All right, go ahead and get in back of my car for me, please. Get in the car, keep your mouth shut. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get my cruiser out of the main intersection here so we're not uh, blocking traffic. No, what are you doing? Get in your car. If you try and turn your sirens off too fast, it like makes them get back out of the vehicle again. All right, so we're going to go and pull over here. We're going to go ahead and radio in a, a prisoner transport for Mr. Barrasso. And then in the meantime, we're going to get his vehicle towed out of the way since we can't search it right now. So that's two mods that need to get put back in. Safer chases and the, uh, the vehicle search mod. And a uh, radar mod. So but there we go. Manuel, Manuel, whatever his name is, is going to jail for resisting arrest. Causing a lot of... Uh, damage to public property caused several different accidents and the list goes on and on so at any rate guys we're going to wrap up this episode of lspdfr thank you guys for joining me for episode 52 hopefully no other crashes happen so you guys continue to enjoy this series and it's less headache for me thank you guys for watching hopefully we'll see you guys next time